Good evening! Better Fun here again. Uh, I think this is part three, and today I am going to go into some of the uh, movements, they're called, uh, the actual clockwork and gears. And, uh, well, okay. Let's see what we've got here. And we have one of the clock movements. Now, what I'm going to be doing is actually keeping a lot of the uh, actual integrity of the clock going, just because uh, the freaking clock works just pretty cool. I mean, I just love the way they move and things like that. So I'll show you just as an example of uh, how the clock moves. If uh, oh, And here we go. So as you can see, several different things, flipping, spinning, just general awesomeness, but you hit a little divot there and it uh, stops. So just to keep it cool in the clock, what I'm doing is I'm actually first taking some solder and making little beads out of it, then placing the beads on the uh, little applicable areas, and uh, then kind of gently smooshing them in with uh, a soldering iron so that when it goes, you'll see here in a second, and I will clean this up so it looks a little cooler, but uh, this is just thrown together for you to see. And it skips right over those parts that would normally be the chimes for the hour, half hour, quarter hour, and whatnot. Anyway, right. enjoy my sake, continue doing my work, and I'll report again more later.